Hi everyone, this is Noopy from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make bases like the ones in the track In the City by Bass Stripper. This is the original track. And this is the recreation. Also, before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and keep notifications of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have great preset packs, producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Abyss, Mastec and many more. Showing you how to make a track from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining the preset pass. The link is also in the description below. So that being said, let's get into the video. So for this sound, we're using a D sharp and we're going to start with a sine. Let's go into basic shapes, sine, random down, and also octave two down. For the oscillator B, we're going to set it plus one octave and semitones up seven. That way we have a fifth. Also on oscillator A, level full, on B stays the same. And after that, we're gonna open filter, select B as well. Let's go for um, low, tw low 24. Push the resonance up. Cutoff will be around a thousand or something. And with drive, let's push it up and recover it so it gets back to zero, the lowest part, about 25%. And this will sound like this. Okay. Also random down here on oscillator B. Next, we're going to recreate the modulation pitch modulation. So we're going to select LFO one. And on the destination, we're going to select global master tuning. For this, we're going to use bipolar. So it goes both ways. And on the amounts, we're going to use free semitones. Let's go into LFO one, turn it into an envelope, one bar, and now let's design the pitch modulation. Because it's bipolar, the midway of the graphic, it's zero, and upwards will be plus three, downwards minus three. So we'll start here at zero, and we dropped it down to here. Add a little bump. Okay. A bit of release here. Okay, perfect. Also, just to add a little bit more of bite, we're going to go over here and add a little punch to the beginning of the sound. So it gets a little bit more bite when it starts the sound. And of course, the little curve here. Can go. Perfect. So we got the oscillators, the pitch modulation. Now let's jump into the effects. So for that, we're going to use a distortion first. Let's use a um, zero square and let's go up to 71, 72. Okay. And this completely unveils, unveils the sound, this distortion, right? After let's add some width. So on chorus, break down, let's switch to high pass filter. Bring it down to 600 or something like that. Depth also bring it down a little bit, around 12. And the mix as well. Just opens a bit more the sound. Okay. Now let's grab a filter. And for this one, we're going to use the high pass peak. So one of the multis, HP 12. 
And over here, what happens is it's filtered. The frequency controls one of the peaks, and you can go around and, and see it even in the analyzer where it stands around 70% is where I want this one, while the cutoff will control the high pass, right? So this will be to boost a little bit the mid bass, the fifth of the sub. So I want it around 120. Eight thing that's where the frequency is, and at the same time, we're going to boost the resonance so it creates a peak both on the frequency peak and on the uh, high pass. Let's hear it. Not bad, of course, mix down. Sounding good. Okay, for this, we're going to create a little bit of modulation as well. And on LFO2, we're going to create a ramp up right down to one bar. And once again, envelope. And we're going to set LFO2 into the resonance, but reverse. And then swell a little bit on the cutoff. Just because it's dropping down. So we want it to drop down as well. The the cutoff so it goes along with the key and it's very slightly just like 4 and 28. Again, let's compensate the filtering with some drive. And while the filter cuts off, the frequency goes down. We want to add a bit of distortion as well. Let's hear it. Let's give it a little tweak. Next, we're going to use an EQ. Again, the left side, we're going to boost a little bit that low frequency, the fifth from the sub. So Push it a little bit more. You can hear it already coming out. Narrow a little bit more. And that's good. Everyone. Perfect. Now, with the low cut on the right side, let's do 45 so it gets flat. And let's cut the highs because we don't need all that. So let's do 750. That's good. Now, after, let's push this EQ up. After that, we're going to use the reverb for that. We're going to remove spins, bring the size down around 50%, decay four, add some low cut. Add some light cut so we remove that the dispersion on the high frequencies. And let's add a tiny bit of mix. Now, from here, let's go back to the oscillator tab. On the LFO3, we're going to give a little punch to the cutoff. So we're going to set it to envelope. One bar. Let's push it here. And here. And here. And now let's add it to the cutoff. That's too much, of course. Now let's just. You see that? Wow. The bite. <laughs> okay, also the sub feels like it's lacking a little bit. So let's add the sub on direct out. Get it to full. 
Of course, I need to drop it to and invert to face. Sounding good. So that's it. This is my recreation of the bass from the track In the City by Bass Stripper. So if you like this video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and keep notifications of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have great preset packs, producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Abyss, Mastec and many more. Showing you how to make a track from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining the preset pass. The link is also in the description below. So thanks for watching, I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.